Hi, welcome to Med Manus. In the last video, we have seen about lung volumes and capacities. If you didn't see it, please go back and check it out because that forms a correct basic for studying the PFT. I've given the link in the description box below. Now, coming on to the PFT, let me give you some basics first. In the x-axis, I have taken time. In the y-axis, I have taken lung volume in liters. You are breathing in normally in and out of a lung and now you take a maximal inspiration followed by a forced expiration and try to squeeze the air out of a lung. You get the graph like this. What is forced vital capacity? It is the maximum amount of air that you can expel out of a lungs after a maximal inspiration. So this is forced vital capacity. Normally you have about 5 liters. What is forced expiratory volume at first second? Now check the x axis. You have 1, 2, 2 to 3 seconds. So 2 to 3 seconds it takes for you to blow out the air. What is the amount of air you can blow out in the first second? It is forced expiratory volume at first second or FEV1. Really we can compare this to FEV1 by FEC ratio. Why we are comparing this two? Because we can find whether the patient have obstructive or restrictive pattern. The normal FE1 FEC ratio is about 80%. What is the normal FE1 here? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 divided by 5 is 80%. Now moving on to the obstructive diseases. Before going obstructive pattern, let us focus on my sketch here to understand the pathology behind it. Now this is the normal alveoli, so the air moves in and out normally. This is the diseased alveoli, here you can see some obstructions, right? So because of this obstruction, the air which moves in freely cannot move out, resulting in air trap. So this air trap is the most important point you need to remember to understand this obstructive pattern. So because of this air trap, you get a higher lung volume. That is the total lung capacity here is 7 liters and here the normal is only 6 liters. Due to the air trap, you have increased residual volume here and also the FRC is also increased. What is FRC? Recall from the previous video. At this point, you expire normally, right? So what is the amount of air present after a normal expiration? It is FRC. When you talk about the FEV1 and FEC, FEV1 is decreased because of obstruction. Air moves out very, very slow. And FEC is also decreased because there is a big air trap. So when you compare both FE1 and FVC, FV1 is about 2 liters here, FVC is about 4 liters here. So 2 divided by 4 is 50%. In order to make this point more clear, because this is the most important point, you need to remember obstructive versus restrictive disease. The FV1 is decreased, yes, you know, and FVC is also decreased, you know. And you need to compare this to FE1 and FEC and say which is decreased a lot, either FE1 or FEC. Here in the obstructive pattern, FEV1 is decreased a lot, making the ratio less than 80%. I hope now you are very clear. Now let's go on to the restrictive disease pattern. Before doing this restrictive pattern, focus on the sketch here to understand the pathology. So for example, take uh, fibrosis or pneumoconiosis. Uh, these are the examples for restrictive diseases. So here I have taken fibrosis as one of example here. So compare both the lung volumes. You can see how the lung volume is so much reduced in the restrictive disease. This results in reduced total lung capacity. If a total lung capacity is decreased, that is here it is say about 4 then all the volumes in the restrictive disease are decreased note it here all the volumes and all the components here in the restrictive diseases are decreased when you compare the FEV1 and FVC ratio here you have 3 liters here you have say like 3.5 3 divided by 3.5 is 85% now make this point very clear compare this to FEV1 and FVC which is decreased a lot yes FEV1 is decreased FVC is decreased but FVC is lot more decreased making the ratio greater than 80% now I hope you are very clear about this. 
now let's summarize i want you to pass this video and try this exercise out this is going to be a real fun trust me the total lung capacity in obstructive disease is increased because of air trap in restrictive disease it is decreased a lot the most important point remember here fv1 is decreased a lot here it is decreased fvc is decreased here it is decreased a lot fv1 fvc ratio is decreased and here it is increased or normal the functional residual capacity is increased because of air trap and residual volume is also increased because of air trap and here both the volumes are decreased i hope you get this concept very clear now see you next video thank you